What is up everybody, it's the Inhuman One here and today we're playing some Cursor Blade. This is an incredibly interesting idea where this roguelite you play as the cursor itself. So this right here is the player character. I thought that was really intriguing even considering the fact that I don't normally play keyboard and mouse type games. But I was just really, you know, shocked by the idea. I said that could be really interesting. That could be really fun. So if you think about the movement speed and the precision you have, I mean, this could be a lot of fun. So without further ado, we're going to check out Cursor Blade right now, which is currently in early access. It is coming soon. So be sure to wishlist it on Steam. We have the option of the Cursor Blade, which is the standard character. And we also have Stone Blade, which has more max hearts but lower damage. I say we go for the, the good old Cursor Blade himself. And, oh, that's fun. It literally moves as fast as you do. That is amazing. So we have Porcupine, level 1. Chance for enemies to fire at quills on death. Eh. Chance to inflict burn. And this spawns an orbiting cactus that deals damage. I don't want, like, a chance to do damage. I want guaranteed damage. So let's get the little, the little cactus thing going. The orbiting cactus, if you will. And look at this little guy. Deals one more slash damage per missing heart. Okay, so red tear stone. I, I get it. Adds two max hearts. I love that. And then we have the puffer fish. Deals damage to all enemies upon taking damage. I go for the apple, actually, here. We have the chance to inflict burn. A toxic spore. Or a lightning bolt. Um, let's see. Toxic spore. Is that damage over time? Just damage within range. Okay, how about the lightning bolt? How about the lightning bolt? So far, the enemy- oh, there you go. Let's see, they haven't attacked yet. So it looks like they attack you whenever their little teeth are out. These are like Blobulons, or Blob- <laughs> Minions of the Blobby Lord, for any of Enter the Gungeon fans, which is, of course, one of my favorite roguelites of all time. I have a chance to deal triple damage, that's great. Chance to fire enemies, okay. Leaves a fire trail, yes, we're going magma. Oh, oh look at that. That's a fun little effect, too. Fun little visual effect, anyway. Okay, we have to take out the projectile users. Those guys are always going to be a priority. That's just my style of gameplay. Anytime there's a projectile user, we got to take those guys out. Chance to attach a bomb, toxic spore, and the fire trail lasts longer. How about the shroom? Looks like we have a finite amount of slots here. Uh oh, here we go. We've got the precise projectiles coming at us now. They're just homing in on us. We can get another cactus, cactus level 2, or we can increase the power of our toxic spore. And the same goes for magma, that's very interesting. I say we go for the cactus, this is fun. We can get another one, why not? Okay, remember, the projectile use of key, they should be the priority at all times because they can reach us from afar, whereas these blobs can only reach us if we jump into them at the wrong time. The snail reduces enemy projectile speed, that's not bad. Restores two hearts when you pick up a heart, and hearts drop from enemies more frequently. Let's reduce the enemy projectile speed. Oh yeah, we're gonna go level 2 lightning for sure, we get more bolts. Alright, here we go, gotta be precise here. So the funny thing is you can't just go crazy, like I just did, because you'll get you see damage. <laughs> I took my first hit right there. Uh, we can increase the size of the toxic spore. What is this? Chance to inflict burn. Drops a star to attack. Let's try shooting star. Shooting star looks fun. Okay, we got an AoE guy now. Uh-oh. Alright, you gotta be very careful. You gotta watch. Okay, now we can go crazy. That was intense, believe it or not. Okay, we got a, a level 2 shroom. Why not? Let's increase the the size here. The size of our spore cloud. Our cursor blade is uh, stinky right now. Okay, damn that. Okay, good. That would go crazy. It looks like when, even if they're about to attack, if you attack them first and they split, like these little blobs, they don't hurt you anymore. So, level 3 cactus. Or fire or magma. Let's go for the cactus. Why not? Look at this. Oh my god. This is where the bullet hell comes into play. Oh wow. Okay. I gotta take this seriously. I'm actually taking some pretty serious damage here. Okay. Wow. That was fun. Look at that. Okay. We cleared out that way pretty nicely. Recover all of your hearts, maybe. Spawns an orbiting shield that blocks incoming projectiles or deals double damage briefly when taking damage. Let's replenish our health. I do like the idea of the shield, trust me. Uh, chance to attach a bomb, enemy uh, quills on death, or another cactus. Let's go for the cactus, I mean, why not? 
I wish these could block projectiles. That would be really nice. Okay, remember, we gotta take out these projectile users. These guys are gonna be a real pain if we don't take them out. Oh, I love that. Look at that. You can just <laughs> go straight through. I mean, as fast as you can move the mouse, it's literally as fast as you can attack. Look at that. Cleaning up shop right now. Look at that. Fun. Uh, chance to deal triple damage, magma level 2, or cactus. We're going for the cactus. I mean, why, we're totally doing a cactus build right now. I would say this game looks so pretty, considering how simple it is. And it's it's fun to look at, you know? And it, and it's, and it feels good, you know? Nothing feels broken. The movement's fantastic. We have the bomb, we have the cactus, and we have the target. Let's go for cactus again. This is a lot of fun. For me, not being a keyboard and mouse guy, this may have converted me. Let's see, uh, I, I'm leaning towards shooting star already. Porcupine or fire. Let's go shooting star. Uh-oh. We got these angry mushrooms. He, he's not dying. What's up with that? He's a tough guy. We gotta be careful here. Alright, break him down, break him down, they're dead. I do want the shield. Let's see. Deals damage to all enemies upon taking damage. I don't really like making a build upon like, based on retaliation. Spawns an orbiting shield that blocks enemy projectiles or become invincible briefly every 10 seconds. Uh, yeah. Shooting star all day. Every 10 seconds. How can I tell when I'm invincible? Oh, not invincible there. I took some damage. Is there a visual cue here that I'm going to get? Uh, am I invincible yet? Oh, there you go. I'm invincible. Bubble! Whoa, that's fun. You don't stay invincible for 10 seconds. You stay invincible every 10 seconds for just a few moments. <laughs> Shooting star level 4. Let's go. We're going crazy with it right now, breaking everything down. There we go, there we go. Lovely. Look at that, what a clean wave that was. Okay, so we have target, lightning, and I'm going shooting star. Shooting star has proven quite valuable, actually. Okay, well, easy. Easy, we're gonna go, oh no, we're gonna go to here, to here. Right. And we're gonna finish up these guys. Very nice. Right, wave 17. Can we survive magma, target, or lightning? We're going lightning. Oh, I see a pickup there. Looks like we can actually get health pickup. Hold on, bullet health. Here we go. Uh oh. I got tagged right in the face. You have an incredible level of precision here. It's just one that I don't, I don't actually have because I don't ever use keyboard and mouse. I never play keyboard and mouse games. So, but yeah, you can easily weave in and out if you're if you're good. Restores two hearts when you pick up a heart. Deals one more slash damage per missing heart. Let's go for the shield. I mean, we've been waiting for this. This is a long time coming now. And cactus seven. I wonder what the max level is. Probably ten. Probably have ten levels of awesomeness. Okay, you gotta stay away from the AOE cloud. There you go. Now we're talking. Getting some heals. Take out these mages. Take out the mustachioed man and his friends. We're going for lightning four. Uh oh. Oh gosh, I clipped and that. I mean, it didn't do anything, but it just scared me. Okay. Yikes. Oh, the health actually disappears over time, so you can't just let it sit there for too long. It will actually disappear. The stars are doing absolutely work. And these guys are dead. Oh, hey, excellent. I love it. Nice. So 20 waves. That seems to be like the common number here. Same goes for Brotato. That's a lot of fun, guys. The result, we got a score of... 
Ten three eight zero. That's awesome. Ten thousand three hundred eighty. High score is one zero one two zero. I don't know what that means because I have not played this before. <laughs> uh, what? Waves twenty, and then time seven fifty nine. Is that my high? I don't understand the difference. Did I do something different? I don't know. I'm not sure what happened. That's interesting. But anyways, if you guys enjoy roguelites and also keyboard and mouse this is an incredibly unique idea what i want to do first though before we actually end this is i would like to test things out as the stone blade character the stone blade character might be a lot of fun so let's see we have more health but lower damage so i think we really need to rely more on our our um oh well we are weak on our item selection here so let's see i absolutely loved the lightning bolt so let's go for that Oh, a bunch of little guys here. Can we make it through wave 20? Snail. Yes, please. We definitely need snail. It's going to reduce enemy projectile speed. We got shooting star, which did just absolute wonders for us in the previous run. So yes, please. Stay away from this meme guy right here. The blobby lord would be proud. Do we diversify? I think we do. Uh, I think we also get the shroom, and then we can upgrade our lightning bolt in future attempts. Obviously, uh, the future shops are going to be very important because we're going to have to figure out, hey, what do we want? We're doing less damage, but we do have more health, so we could play around a bit. Here you go. So now, I say we diversify even further and we get the cactus. And you know, I wouldn't be averse to picking up the bomb this time just to see what kind of AoE damage that does, you know? The guys, the enemies seem to kind of crowd, so I, I, I like that. And maybe we can pick up a magma at some point. That would be a lot of fun. You know, I hope in the main game, at, you know, whenever it's fully released, you have even more items to pick from, and uh, maybe even the opportunity to deal, you know, um, I guess go endless, or maybe have uh, anything beyond 20 waves. You know, let's re-roll. We haven't done that yet. Longer invincibility time after taking damage. Let's go bubble shield. It can be really tanky here. And bomb. Okay, so now I think we kind of have our little loadout. I wouldn't mind... Um, wow, okay. Not getting hit. But I also wouldn't mind adding some magma trail. That'd be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. And now let's start upgrading stuff. So let's see here. Magma trail's right there. Why not get all that? So that way we have a little bit of everything. And then we're going to start really focusing in on upgrading some of our abilities. Wow, these guys really hurt me. I was not paying attention. Note to self, you can take damage, even when you're talking. Okay, do we want to... Oh, we're going bomb. I want to figure out this bomb thing. Can we make the bomb work? Ooh, that was awesome. I love it. I want the bomb to be very strong. I want the chance of the bomb to be like almost guaranteed. And I don't even know if the bomb damage increases or if the chance of it to proc increases with every new level. So let's find that out too. And we've been fortunate with the drops. We've seen a lot of actual drops of hearts and other things there. So that's awesome. And those guys are insane. Uh, let's see. Deals damage to all enemies upon taking damage. Adds two max heart. Yes, let's be like invincible right now. We need some more AOE damage. So lightning bolts jump to more enemies. Yes, all that, all the things. Okay. Oh no, he got me. Okay, oh, you little punk. There you go. Very nice. There's the bombs. We're seeing the bombs do work now. Higher chance to attach a bomb to an enemy. All day. I mean, like, let's attach bombs. I see them now. And I like what I see. Here we go. Taking it nice and easy. Now, the funny thing is, seeing the bombs, or that visual cue for the bombs, it makes me think I'm taking damage, but I'm not. It's just scary. This is great. I love it. Okay, nice. Wave 12. Here we come. Uh, let's see. We can go for... I love the shooting star. So that was nice damage to pretty much all rant characters. You know, it's random, but at the same time, it is pretty consistent. I mean, it's hitting a lot of the enemies on screen pretty frequently, so I like that. 
Wave 13. Let's see. Um, go for some more bolt action. Nice. You missed me, Mushroom Man. I'm telling you, these guys have played into the Gungeon, that's for sure. Those bombs are just setting off like crazy. Alright, can we finish them off? Yes, we can. Reduces max health for all enemies. I love that. Hearts drop from enemies more frequently and deals double damage briefly at the start of the wave. So that can offset our, our weakness here. That's interesting. Uh, I say we go for the reduction of max health. We go for the Gundramana strain, if you will, for any of the Into the Gungeon fans out there. And then we can also go for shooting star level 3. I mean, we're not completely maxing out any particular item or skill, but we certainly are diversifying our build as much as possible, and I like that. That's a lot of fun. Pick up this heart. And I just lost it immediately upon picking me up. I got chomped on by the Blobulon Lords. Let's go for the bomb, because we're definitely going for an explosive type build, so I like it. Very nice. Watch out for these guys who are preparing for an attack. There you go. I think like the mustache guys, the mustache shield man, he bites faster. Let's see, uh, we're gonna go for, how about some shooting star? Oh gosh, okay, ow, ow, ow. Pick up the heart, clean up these guys, pick up the heart, and we're good to go. Of course we're going for a bomb. We don't know what the max level is, I, I'm assuming it's either, oh gosh, it's probably 10. Why am I taking so much damage? My invincibility needs to proc, just, yeah, there you go. Deals one more slash damage per missing heart. Restores two hearts when you pick up a heart. Adds three more rerolls. Let's go for the, the health. Go for bomb, for sure. Level eight bomb, okay, nice. Ow. My cat's going crazy, don't mind me. Oh, okay, oh, that's, that's nice, that's nice. Gotta kill that guy. And we're gonna go crazy here. Lovely. Bombs are just going off all over the screen right now. Shooting star level 5, absolutely. I am not averse to that. Not one bit. Oh gosh. Gotta be careful. These guys are coming in hot. The AoE guy is crazy. And a little cute guy here. It's annoying. Boom. 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 Okay, let's finish off these guys. Don't let them attack. And we're good. That was it, guys. Result level. Nice. So, our score was 10. How is... I don't understand the high score. It's just... Is that built in or what? Because if my score is higher, how is that not my high score? <laughs> That's so weird. I've never played this game before. Other than the two rounds you just saw. So... That was awesome. Well, we got 10,350, so we now have the high score. I think we got 10,380 last time, which means we have the higher score even. Um, and we have 20 waves, and the time was 6 minutes, 24 seconds. I absolutely love that. Guys, this is Cursor Blade, the roguelite where you get to play as the cursor itself. If you guys enjoy roguelites, if you guys enjoy any kind of strategy type games, this is certainly something I would strongly suggest you wishlist and play as soon as it comes out. It is in early access right now, and it is coming soon, so please be sure to check it out. I will link it in the description down below for you guys. Also, uh, if you enjoy content like this, please be sure to like and subscribe. It helps me know you want more videos just like this. And if you want to support me in a more personal way, I do have a Ko-fi page and a Patreon where you can unlock perks and speak with me directly. So hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Prepare yourself for some Blasphemous 2 content. And until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.